Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I thought I'd show you around a rather interesting build. This one is more of a set piece than an actual super functional piece of Space Engineers construction. It is a little bit of a military base for an upcoming cinematic that I'm working on. You'll, you'll soon see that over the next coming weeks. But apart from that, I thought I'd just show you around the base, and I'm also going to stick this up on the workshop yourself, so you can use some rather interesting sort of military structures and buildings that I've been messing around. Of course, we have my stapled diet of these interesting sort of antenna arrays. You've got to imagine they're connecting up to something in the sky. They also blow up really nicely as well. If you um, hit or put an explosive down near the pinch at the bottom, the whole thing snaps off the top and it comes crumbling down to the ground, crushing the foundations themselves very nice indeed. So we've got a few different areas. We've got the central compound in the area in the middle where the troops and other information is housed and that's got a nice security fence around it. And we've got these various helipads around the area as well that I thought would be quite nice. The only problem is that bushes seem to grow back in places like this over the boxes. Now, if you have done a build like an abandoned sort of base, that would be quite cool indeed. But in this case, We've got trees popping up in the middle of the roads, and it's just damn annoying and more annoying We've got rocks that have decided to build themselves into the middle of the helipad that just makes absolutely no sense So when I originally built this I just wanted the individual military compound in the middle that you've seen from my starship troopers But this one's actually been extended and doubled in length So we've got this nice perimeter wall We can actually observe the area around it with spotlights Whatever we need to do so we can see the radar installation in that area We can also see the supply dock in this area as well and what I might try doing for this as a future scenario is have a few different guys guarding the base and then have a few different spies and maybe try to infiltrate in, get to a central room and disable a device or an antenna, just make it a little bit interesting. Or maybe we could even have a vehicle on one of these helipads that the spies have to try sabotaging. But there's just loads of different things you can do with a game mode like this. So you can see the central area, we'll head over here. So this is like a secondary loading bay. This is where the more high value supplies are stored. So we've got these areas that are kind of just sunk a little bit into the ground, a little bit lower than ground level with a perimeter fence around them. So maybe you're transporting some high value goods that you don't want to just leave around the outside of the base. So you transport them into here and you could bring them inside into this sort of catwalked area. I guess this could be offices as well. You've seen this in an earlier sort of construction of mine. It's just a very basic sort of not super functional building, but at the same time, it looks good. It looks like a military sort of installation. Now, if we come a little bit further down here, we enter into the airstrip and originally I was going to put a few of my different sort of drone types in this area. We've got two more little hangars, just simple hangars, but you can do a lot with them. You can store vehicles in them. You can put a few crates in this case. And in this situation, it's not all hooked up, but you could run a sort of pipe under the ground connecting all these structures if you actually wanted to. And I've dug them into the ground so they're all quite stable. We've got some more fuel generators and we're onto the larger aircraft hangars. That originally I was going to store some drones in here, but since this base map is going to use in the scenario, I might want to switch things around. I've decided not to put any vehicles in just yet. And then we've got the also problem of rocks deciding to randomly spawn in the worst possible place ever. Look at this. Right in the structure, this rock has decided to spawn and I can't remove it using the voxel tool. This is the voxel tool test. So I just can't delete it using the voxel tool, so it's super annoying. I believe I'll have to manually mine it away. And then when I reload the map up, rocks and trees will pop up in more awkward places. And even worse, if one pops up on the runway, I'll have to manually remove it. So we've got the runway that's actually running quite flat on the side as well as the secondary hangar. And I'm thinking maybe for the scenario introduction, we're going to have a large jet land here, offload a number of troops, and the story will begin from there. But I'll just have to come up with a few different concepts for the cinematic and see what works out the best. But anyway, I'll put this up on the workshop so you can have a play around with it. Feel free to drag, move the buildings into your own worlds and create your own sorts of large military installations. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. 